Hello, let's talk about how to set up a remote for a garage door because sometimes you might lose one of the remotes or sometimes you have a garage door but you don't have a remote and you can go online and buy a universal remote that uh, fit most of the doors or you can go to a store and buy a remote in the store but from my experience online is about twice cheaper then let's say Home Depot. Let's get to it. This is the one I order because I just picked those. The price about the same if you want a bigger or smaller. And okay, so three buttons. Okay, good. First time opening it. Let's see what else here. All right. Universal remote control. Who read that anyway? So you can use it as a um, keychain, or you can use that clip, and you put it right, I guess, like this. Huh? Let's see. Oh, well, I'll play with it later. Yeah, it can also be the one that you put on the um, in your car with that little clip. But first, let's see if it has a battery. I think they put a little screwdriver in it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh. Huh. I need to look at the instruction thing. Well, it turned out I didn't have to take it apart. And it, it has all the way for you. If you don't want to watch my video, Pause and read this instruction. This is how you do it. Otherwise, stay with me. Who needs the instructions anyway? Let's put this little screw back into it. There you go. Okay. Uh-huh, blinking. Good. So the battery isn't in it. I didn't even have to. That's it. Easy test for you to do. You don't have to do my mistake. Try to unscrew it. You just press the button. If it's blinking, that means there's a battery in it. Okay. I will use it in my car, so I'm going to put that clip. Come on. You gotta get in. Why don't you want to get in? Ah, uh, yeah. Huh? Why don't you wanna go higher? Interesting. Hmm. Instruction, come back. Okay, the instruction was useless for this, uh, so I just had to use the knife and kind of like dig it in. So be careful if you decide to do the same thing. You know, there's like two latches over there, and I had to lift that clip a little bit higher so it was able to slide it over the latch. I don't know if I'm able to pull it out, but I'm sure I will, but I don't need to pull it out. So who need to pull out? We don't pull out. Okay, let's go. Connect it to a garage door. To connect it to a garage door, you need a garage door opener. So, and a ladder, most likely bigger than mine, but I'm tall so I can reach. Okay. Find which side of the garage door opener is the one that, see, I can even reach to show you from the floor. Uh, boom. There you go. It does have a little instruction here too. So if you just uh, want to completely for garage door, forget about all the previous remote, you just hold this purple button for 30 seconds. No, wait, six seconds. There you go. If you just want to uh, connect 
new remote, you press this button and press button on the remote and wait for this light bulb to blink. And that should be it. Let's give it a It's really important the color of this button before you purchase your remote because some of them support only certain colors. And that will let you know if your remote is going to work for your door. When you climb in the ladder for your safety, three points of contact at all time. Let's do it. One, two, three. Press, press and hold. Nothing happened. Try again. It's not doing it. I'm doing it right. It's not doing it. Back instruction. Okay, guys. I was wrong. <clears throat> I was doing it wrong. Let me show you what. To do. So I ended up reading the instruction in the end. And this one, put it later. This one, you want to take it off. And so you're gonna have how much this set and there will be one tiny screw like this you use the screwdriver take it out which is I did and then you just slide it off take it out here's a battery boom boom there's a little button right here uh-huh magic so that button is important. I will set up your remote for the type of your door. So my door, as you could see, was mm -hmm. purple button, purple button. Okay. So I need to press the button on my little that little red button, I need to press three times. Okay. <sighs> Let's see if that do the trick. This mode will last. So remove the battery cover, press and hold the program until it starts solid blue. Okay. And when it's blue, then, then you set it up for the color of your garage door, which is for me, it's purple three times. Let's see. Who need instructions? Useless. Okay, this is so tiny. I'm gonna press it. Beep. It's red. Should I press and hold? I don't see no blue color. It's always red. One. Two. This is weird. I don't know. I think I broke it. Read it again. Back to instruction. Choose the blah blah blah. So confused. Holding. But how long though? It's still red. Huh. 
And as a try, press and hold until it's turned blue, it's red. Why it's red? It's solid red. Okay. Well, let's try it. Press this one and then. One, two, three. Wait, what happened? What happened? This is kind of confusing though at this point. So, here's a program button. Now press it and hold until the light comes up and stays on. It doesn't turn blue. It stays red. Then choose the button I want to use to control this one and I need to press it three times for the purple one two three and then hold this press this one. okay let's go to the garage okay keep the cover off this thing so in case I have to do it again three points of contact one two three oh, well, here you go uh, press one Press and hold. Yeah! It worked! Uh, stop. Go down. That's it. That's it, my friend. So, this is my successful configuration of garage door remote control now that was me going <laughs> through instructions and struggling with it a little bit so let's wrap it up and make it uh, easy to do less confusing instructions here you go guys lucky for you i have a second one i need to set up you open it is the remote and a screwdriver a box as a clip wonderful instruction actually is important read it read it all about this is important important stuff important very important okay whatever remote you get read instruction if you have remote without instruction well or if you are afraid that you can't set it up without instruction then it's probably not much different from what I'm doing here. So this need to come off this little ringy thing. So we can have access to the program button. There you go. Oh my god, what did it, what did it happen? Come on, Jack. There you go. There you go. Okay this the top battery by the way that's specifically for this type of remote universal remote control sm26 i don't know if it's some certain brand but here you go from amazon 14 bucks okay undo this very good there's a battery so go to your garage door look at the learn button what color it is the color is purple look at the instruction instruction it says when it's purple you press three times okay so this one you hold until this light is solid it's red it's not blue like it's an instruction so now press then three times one two three then press this one Oop okay now it should be ready let's go to garage you in garage you have garage up and right you find the way you learn button you get a letter be safe climbing it three points of contact one two three there you go we all safe you know, press this one the button on your garage opener up and then you're going to hold this one 
All set. It blinked. Now, let's see if it works. There you go. Miracle. Go back. And this is how you set up remote control for a garage door. And if you want to use other buttons for other doors, do the same thing. Can you believe those instructions? So confusing. I think if they do it on purpose, you know, like the the garage door video is uh, is over. I'm just putting my remote belt belt together, and um, yeah, they put blue light. Huh? It's not blue; it's red. <sighs> Other than that, I think I got it all right for um, my second garage door. Connected both remotes under a minute. I mean, that was easy. When you know how to do it, it it's easy. Until then, like, it's not so hard, it's just those instructions are. You gotta read them and you don't want to. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm gonna put it together now without any instruction. Bye.